This here is the EcoWorthy 50 amp hour lithium battery. It weighs about five kilos and today this is going to be going in my Sinclair C5. Now these batteries aren't usually the cheapest. I believe they're about 120 pounds. Uh, you might be wondering how the heck have I been able to get my hands on this? Is it a sponsorship? No, it's not. It's um, my dad. So <laughs> it was my birthday recently and my dad bought me this for my birthday, for my 26th. So we, uh, we got one and it's only just turned up today, even though it was my birthday a couple weeks ago. So we are going to be putting this into the Sinclair C5 and hoping it works. I'm hoping it's charged, but first, before we get it into the Sinclair C5, we need to be taking off all this plastic stuff. There's a lot of thin plastics which aren't good for the environment, but it is what it is. This is what it's come wrapped in and this is what we've got to deal with. So we take all this stuff off and now we're left with these. We've got the negative and the positive terminal. Now I'm going along looking at this at the exact speed you are. I opened this a second ago. I've not had a proper look at it. All I know is it's a 12.8 volt battery and Everyone on the Sinclair C5 pages recommended this battery. They said, you need to get this exact one. So I wanted this one for my birthday. It was the only thing I asked for for my birthday and I got it for my birthday. So without further ado, we're going to be attaching the terminals. Now I've seen videos online of people have these batteries for the Sinclair C5. Now they're great, don't get me wrong. However, there seems to be a slight little hiccup. Now you might be wondering, what could this hiccup possibly be, Oliver? You know, you wanted this for your Sinclair C5. What's the issue with it now? Well, apparently it's the terminal sizes. So I've seen a few issues online where people have to drill out the holes to make better connectors. And I'm in a weird position for that because I have never had to deal with that with batteries. I have a lot of batteries. I have uh, lead acid batteries. I've got like one, two, three, uh, five, I think. So, you know, I, I use them in like solar setups and things like that. So this is slightly different. Sorry, I just screwed these on really quickly. I do apologize that wasn't on camera, but these are literally just easily hand screwed on. So this is the current setup of the Sinclair C5. What I'll do is I'll just take off these quick release clips. They're actually just wired into the back of the um, original key at the moment. So they're ready to slot out. And this should just, I think it's 55 kilos or something, it's heavy. I don't know, I don't know how heavy it is. Uh, so I'll just take this out. And obviously this one will just slot in a lot easier just down there. Can it fit? No, it can't fit the other way around. But before this goes in, we need to work out how we're gonna be connecting this to the battery. Now, obviously the easiest way would be to wire in the reverse ends. So what I could do is I could just wire that in direct. Now I'm trying to remember when I put this cable in, does it have a metal end on? No, yes it does. Yes it does actually. This has a metal end on. So I'm going to unscrew, let's bring on to camera. I'm going to unscrew the screws here and then we can wire everything in, in sync. Yeah. Now ultimately this is going to be a little more annoying. So when it's time to charge the battery, I'm gonna to have to take off these little uh, M6 connector points. However, to be honest with you, for now, this is the best solution that I've got, unless I can come up with a better solution or if anyone can let me know in the comments below if there is a better solution. But until then, this is the way I'm going to have to do it. So I'm just gonna finish unscrewing these because ultimately I would like to re reuse the quick release if I can't use it on this, then obviously I'll find another project to use it on. But it would be nice to keep everything together. Let's just slide that out there. Oh, don't want to lose that screw, so we'll just thread that one back in real quick. Just to not be lost. Cool. Now we have the ends. They're actually identical, which is brilliant. Haha. -ha. We can screw this off. <coughs> Let's not drop that. We can just simply screw it all back down. So as you can, s I don't know if you can see, but it's going to make a connection point. Let's just tighten this up. There we go. And then again on this side, we're going to be 
wiring everything together. It is literally as simple as that. Cables are in, cables are tightened. We don't need this Halford sticker anymore, so I'll just take that away and chuck that in the bin. So this is what we're left with, and I'll show you what I'm doing with the key section to make it work until I can find a better solution. Now to make this work properly, well, as good as I can at the moment, the key box actually has some cables on the back here. So originally this would wire into the top of the lead acid battery that used to be on it back in the 80s. For now, I am literally hooking on the negative there. And then I hook on the positive just down into there to make the connection. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera down here, we've actually changed the switch here. I did initially have the original switch and I still do and it still works, but this is for the lights. I would like to have two of these in this place where I can just flick lights on and flick on the electric at the same time. Obviously that is for a future project, but for now I've just changed this to the lights. Although I have never actually wired in the lights, so maybe that is something for today so we can actually see if the lights works for once. I took it for a short test run really quickly, but I just want to say the speed difference here. You ready? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Because the battery is so much lighter, this is going a lot quicker. So I'm going to be measuring the speed in a second to see how fast this goes. You know, the strangest things that always happen with Sinclair C5s. The first time I brought this out, um, I went around the corner on my road and a neighbour ran out and said that he had one in his garage for 20 years and I've seen it, right? I've just been stopped by someone who uh, used to work with Sir Clive Sinclair. It's the weirdest life having a C5. Anyways, we're uh, just off to one of the main roads to go and test some speed. Did I show you I replaced the back lock on the Sinclair C5? Awesome, look at that, and then it just closes. So this is just a basic like letterbox lock, something you'd have on a letterbox on a flat or something. Um, I do have the original lock, I also have the original switch that I showed you earlier, I'm keeping all the original parts from this, I just wanted something that worked. So, 14 miles an hour I got this to without pedalling, which is pretty good considering I believe it did around 15, 16 miles an hour 40 years ago. With my old battery that I had in this, it did about 9, 9 miles an hour. So the fact that I've been able to gain 5 miles an hour is absolutely great. I have taken this for a spin for a few miles, we went into town. I stopped off at Lidl. Um, yeah, this has just been a pretty cool vehicle to be driving now that everything's working. Although, one issue that I did have with this was the electric cables. As I showed you before, they were on the key section. Now, previously I had things leaning against the bigger battery and that didn't work because it's a lot smaller and I've been able to strap the battery in. So the cable kept falling out, so I did have to pull over quite a few times. Since I've been back, I used some electrical tape and I have taped it all together. Now, that is great for now. That is not a permanent solution, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it is holding, um, so that is good. But yeah, overall, uh, the Sinclair C5, it is going on pretty well. I'm really, 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 really happy like look how beautiful this is look at this ah oh. <laughs> you know in the fact that I took this to the shop as well bear in mind I uh, I've never taken this to the shop I went to Lidl because there's like a little like entrance section like a porch so I was able to just park that in the porch I don't want it being stolen I don't know who's around so I went there and using the keys for the new lock that I put on I picked up some orange juice. Oh yeah, don't usually shop at Lidl, but that was a pretty cool experience to do. Now, what is next for the Sinclair C5? I have changed the battery, I have 
electrical taped the cables into position so they don't keep falling out. We changed the switch for the lights, which, should we check if it works? I don't think the light does. It's a 40 year old bulb, so let's, um, nothing. Unless I have wired that in incorrectly, which I'm not going to check this very second, uh, it's not working. I do need some mirrors. There are some mirror holders that did originally have mirrors 40 years ago. They have been lost over 40 years, understandably. It does need a good clean. Um, yeah, there's a few things that could be done to it. Maybe we could try and get a little bit of extra speed out of it, which will be really, really cool to do. So, yes, I'd just like to say a big thank you to my dad for buying me the battery. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has watched this video. Now, if anyone knows any electrical ideas that I can do, please let me know in the comments below because I would really like to know. Obviously, it's not the safest method at the moment. You know, if the cables touch somehow, we don't want sparks while riding it. No, we don't. So, yeah, we just want this to be 100% safe, maybe a little bit faster, for road legal reasons, only a slight bit faster. Realistically, I would love one to uh, go a lot faster. This is a beauty. If I see another one, I would probably buy another. Right now, no, because I have nowhere to put it. So I have space for one, and that is good enough for me at the moment. But yeah, no, it is, it's getting on. It is, it's doing really well. And maybe in the future, I will do a video of what it's like to live with a Sinclair C5 for a whole week and see if it is physically possible in today's world. But until next time, Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Any questions, let me know in the comments below because I, really, I would really like to know. Adios, my miss amigos. I shall see you guys all in the next video, which will be up hopefully soon. Goodbye for now. Actually, let's, let's end it riding away. Do, 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 do. Ha ha. All right. Oh. Take the orange juice out. Set the wall. <laughs>